Yeah, no, yeah, not very close. No. Okay. No hey guys, no remember I took you for a walk down to Neela's place, showed you how they're living, surviving, um, making do during this time of COVID and lockdown, feeding themselves. And the duckweed, that, that's the point I'm getting to, the duckweed. I'll show you what we're doing with all these bricks and that. There is a big call for duckweed because a lot of people are having to feed themselves now. Chooks, ducks, things like that. And there's a shortage of duckweed. <laughs> Neela has been selling hers and they've come up with this great idea to put in more ponds along here. The duckweed goes for about sow pun a kilo, which is $2 US a kilo. Now it's now it's three, is it? $3. Wow, okay. One kilo is not much, a little bit. So you've probably rarely seen this part of the yard. It's just out here doing nothing. I used to have a hammock in here. In this box. I don't now. And it just doesn't get used. So we're putting in um, five, this big 
area will be one, but it'll be divided into five separate ponds. It takes about five days to actually grow. It grows fairly quick, so you clean one out, you sell that in the day, then you move on to the next, and it just cycles around. Once this is all set up, there is no other costs, really. You know, because you keep a little bit of the duckweed and just put it in the, the freshly emptied pond. Emptied of duckweed, of course. So, they've worked out they'll be able to get, once it's up and going, going on what their pond ponds are uh, producing now, roughly about 20 to 30 kilo a day at $2 US a kilo. It doesn't sound like much. It doesn't, you know, what's that? 40 to 60 dollars a day over a period of a month though that is um uh yeah it just sounded like too much then um 1200 to 1800 is that right yeah that isn't much in a month in western terms australian money u.s money european money but you gotta think um the average wage here is only about 150 200 dollars that people live on to generate that amount of money out of something once it's set up with minimal overheads would be a huge help what's oh, the small one for 10 kilo per day in that one About 12 kilo a day, okay. About 30 for this. So, even more than what I predicted. Hello, Angie. Some of you people may be wondering who the hell's Neela and Kong? An Angie. An Angie. <laughs> Um, and other, others will know Neela, um, they, they're like the caretakers of our property in that here, well, uh, Nini's property. When the restaurant is going, Neela is Nini's right hand man. Kong is the chef. Um, the whole family lives in the little house on the other side of our, um, restaurant, so perfectly positioned to take care of the place we're on this side there on the other side the restaurant in the middle but what a great idea like i said they're not going to have to mow this anymore now are they <laughs> they're only doing this so they don't have to mow it no 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 yeah <laughs> and that's green and beautiful and yeah and this is ya and andy um, Angie, you guys probably remember us going down to their wedding in 2019, two years ago. Have a little boy now, Kev, who still screams at the side of me. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, Neela. Oh. Hello, honey. I'm lucky. That's it. I thought that was... um. Cement, concrete, it's not, it's cow shit. I just stuck my finger in cow shit. <laughs> what is it, honey? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, the only overhead that you do have once this is set up is to feed the duckweed. And it thrives on cow manure. Which is no biggie. No biggie at all because... In and around our dam area there in the big car uh, parking lot, there's a guy who lives nearby. Herds his cattle up here to eat the grass and that. So we've done a deal. <laughs> he can he, he's get you know because he because his cows are eating our grass, we get to keep the poo. So no cost for feed and yeah, like I said, the only cost is the setup of it 
and um, just maintenance, maintain it. Once your dock got that dock, uh, duckweed growing, no other costs really. Not that I can think of. Not that any has um, been mentioned to me. Any other duckweed growers out there? Let us know. That's not a bad little money spinner, is it? It's, it's not going to feed you in the west, but here, most definitely. You'll cut this root up, dig this root up, and the tree will fall over on it. Anyway, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. We'll just keep up to date. I'll keep updating you guys with the progress of this. They've only just started this morning. Oh, and did I mention Neela is Nini's cousin? Yeah, that's why. Always happens here. Family members are always working for other family members. Day two progress report of the duck duckweed farm. How's it? They got the water in already. How about that? Look at that. How level's that land? I truly thought there'd be a bit more fall on this land than what there is. Well, it looked like there was a little bit. I thought if it only just be level up there at the bottom, but overflow on here right at the top, probably about an inch, two inches at the most. Hey, eh? difference fall. Doesn't matter. They got that up in one day. Got the cow shit in there, in there. Guess they're letting it soak, and then I'll throw some duckweed in and watch it grow. I think I said it yesterday. Once it's up and going, uh, five day turnaround. Hmm. That's it. That's today's progress report. Um, once he's up and um, powering along. The duck weed, give you another look. I should have got them to dig that at about bloody five foot deep, eh? And and pass on the, the cow shit, I could have had a good lap pool. While we're out here, while we're out here, I'll show you what they did to our road there. Our road's been done up. Can you bloody see that? That's how they get rid of building rubble around here. Yeah, we have gone through it to make sure there isn't any rebar in it. And dumped a little bit of dirt on top of it, but... <laughs> the bloody holes were better! Oh. <laughs> Rough as guts! Can't wait till it uh, gets concreted.
Alrighty, time for another update. Let's go out here and see how the duckweed's going, hey? It has been, it's been about six days. We've been down to Puxay, got back last night. And this is how, hello Neela, look at this. From absolutely nothing six days ago. to a duckweed farm. I'll do a bit of work, I'll pull some leaves. Uh, I don't want to get rid of their duckweed, hey? Here you go. Just for those who say I do nothing. Three leaves. But I'm, I'm surprised, I did not expect to see it grow this quick from absolutely nothing. Yeah, no, it's not up and fully operational at the moment. But in six days for this amount, could you imagine it kicking off with a small amount like this and then in six days, it would be chocker, chock a block. Okay, that was it. That's all I wanted to see. Pretty happy with that. Gang Lai. <laughs> Gang Lai means excellent. D Lai, it's very good. D, good. I wonder where Nini went. And Nila just picking, picking the father, father and mother of that. Duckweed. Uh, She's just picking the good stuff. Yeah, picking and to produce to grow that up first. Ah, right. Uh, she's selecting the the good plant. Yeah, selecting that good plant. First. I I laughed and I didn't capture it on video. I wasn't going. Well, Neely's out there selecting the good mother and father <laughs> so we can grow a good crop. That's why we're laughing. But I, I knew exactly what she say. meant, it's just how it translates. How to say it? No, that's good, I think they understand, yeah. <laughs> getting, getting a good breeding pair and creating the best possible offspring brings in the but best dollars. Father and mother, right? No, they don't. They don't, just you. That's but why I asked you how to say that. I don't know how you'd say yeah, it in, yeah, in the, the duck weed world. world. Is she happy with how it's growing there? <laughs> Well, I opened a can of worms there, haven't I, with that question? All I wanted was yes or no. <laughs>